guys, Tim back with another video for the Back Row Garage. Today's video, we got a real important one for any 10th Gen Type R owner. We are doing the Joying 9 inch head unit replacement. As everyone knows who owns one of these cars, the factory head unit is terrible. It is like the most complained about thing I've seen online. So today we're going to be replacing that. And I'll show you guys some of the features, some of the things that we lose, and just kind of go through it. Um, I already did the install, just a disclaimer. So I'm gonna just kind of give you guys an overview, walk you through like some of the steps that uh, threw me off a little bit. And also I had an issue with the install and I reached out to Joying through email and they were very, very responsive and very helpful. So great customer service. And so far it seems like a great product. So let's get into it. All right, so as you can see, I got this thing all apart. This is the new unit. But to do the install, you pop off the two winglets here. There's screw here, screw here. And then you pull out the HVAC control. It's got two plugs. And then to pull out the radio, let's see if I can get this to zoom. Right here, there's a screw here. And then same thing on this side. Can't really see on that side because of the wires, but two screws and then you just pull from the top, pull from the top and it pops out using these clips, which I still need to transfer from the OEM unit, but it's pretty simple. And then everything else is plug and play. Before we go any further with the install, this tip is for type R owners only. I'm not sure about any other 10th gen, but once you plug the HVAC controls back in, you're gonna have blue, well, blue with black connector, gray, and this brown connector right here. These three are not getting plugged back into anything. So this kind of looks like a rat's nest. However, you kind of just gotta play with it. Um, everything is plug and play. The issue that I ran into was my steering wheel controls weren't working, so I reached out to them. And this says can in and can out. And this was plugged into, I believe, which one was it? I think this one. Yeah. Which is, I don't even know, key. So the can out was plugged into, or the can in was plugged into key instead of can in, can out. And that fixed my steering wheel control problem. And that was the only issue that I really had install wise. And also this black connector is not connected this is for uh i'm not even sure to be honest with you but i know i haven't lost anything so so to complete the install we got to transfer the white clips over right here and those slot into one two three and then we also have to transfer the bracket that attaches here over which will connect the screws this head unit also features 4G connectivity. So if you have a SIM card, because this is an Android Auto head unit, so you can watch YouTube videos. It's got Netflix. Anything that's available on the uh, Google Play Store can be downloaded onto this head unit. Along with the 4G, there's an external mic, which is... I need to run. This is the external mic. Um... I might unplug it and see how it is without it. And then if it's trash, I will see if I can route, route, route this somewhere that is in a good spot. It's got a long cord, so you could kind of put it wherever. So we'll see about that. I'll let you guys know on that. So when you order this on their website, you're going to want to choose a factory amplifier. And you can either choose 64 or 128 gigabytes. And I think the other option, you can add like a HD backup camera, which is actually pretty easy to do. And that replaces the garbage stock one because it looks even worse on this better screen. So those are the three options, but you definitely need, if you have a Type R, that you need the one with the factory amplifier. Also, before I show you guys some of the features and put everything back together here, I just want to let you guys know that you do lose some features from the factory car. And most of them are in the actual uh, gauge cluster. And the big thing, this is the biggest thing for most people, 
that you lose the ability to change the active rev match. So whatever you choose when you install it or before you uninstall the factory one is what the car is gonna have. So if you want to keep the rev match on, make sure you have it keep or make sure you have it turned on when you uninstall the original unit. Otherwise you cannot change. If you don't want it on, then disable it before you do the install. All right, so this is what the mess looks like now. Let's get this thing cleaned up, buttoned back up, and I'll show you guys what's going on and what we're missing in the instrument cluster and what we gain with this actual uh, user interface and the head unit itself. Quick install update. These brackets do not work. I take back what I said. So I'm gonna take these off. So the only thing that's gonna hold it in are these clips and then the climate control also will hold it in. All right, so I got everything back together. The fitment is great with the winglets. These are the Alcantara winglets, but everything fits great. Pan no panel gaps, no nothing. So it is a little bit bigger, obviously. It's a little taller, so it kinda ever so slightly blocks the top or blocks the bottom of the vents. Not really a big deal. So let's get this thing fired up and I'll show you guys what's going on. All right, so let's get this thing started up. So you can see it's much faster than the OEM unit. I already have it all set up. I play with it a little bit. Oh, going right to the radio. So it also comes with a screen protector installed already. So some of the things I want to show you real quick right here. So this is what I was talking about where you lose some features. So you got gas. This is, I don't even know. I don't think that was a thing before. Let's see what that is. Yeah, that, that's trip information. We got... Ooh. This is nothing. And then we got boost pressure. Which is what I've always kept it on anyways. And then we have... Notifications. So you definitely lose some stuff in this screen. However, in here... So, let's go do this real quick. So you have all these apps. You got the Google Play Store, Google Chrome, Bluetooth, YouTube, Maps. This also does come with a GPS receiver that you can mount somewhere. I did not put it in, um, but you could use that with like Google Maps or whatever you want, Waze. Got Netflix on here. Come on, focus up, okay. So, like I said with this, you lose some things, however, Let's go back to the home screen here. If you could see that we got car info. So this gives you all your trip information. And then we got more stuff here, but settings. So this is the all the car settings. So you got trip A, trip B, outside temp, uh like literally all the stuff for the car except the rev match. That's what we're missing on here. But we also have the, the big thing for most people is the tire pressure reset right there. And then you have the vehicle maintenance reset. So you lose on the rev match, but pretty much keep everything else. So with the climate control, I just found out this does not work as a touchscreen. There might be a setting to make it work as a touchscreen, but... It just pops up as a pop-up screen, as you can see. Tells you what buttons. So, that's that. I'm gonna look through the settings to see if I could find something that will allow me to use it through the touchscreen. Not that I ever would, but would be good for everyone else's knowledge. All right, Z-Link 5, this is Apple CarPlay. So this does have wireless Apple CarPlay wired Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, and wireless, or wired Android Auto. So depending on what device you have, super simple, you plug it in and it will connect. Everything works as it should. Uh, let's see what else we got here that you guys might want to see. 
This right here is very nice. This is like a whole, if you're an audio guy, I'm not sure if this is like, I mean, it's more than the OEM unit, but I don't know how, how in depth this is for someone that's big into audio. So you have all these different presets. And if you go to complex, you can literally change everything. I have no clue what any of this means. We got fade and balance, different scenes for the audio system. And then you can literally tune it however you want. And it has DTS, not sure what that means, but it makes it a lot louder. So if you're into that, this adds all those features. Along this left side, we got home, back. We have an actual volume knob. So you seven, ooh. So you 17 through 19 or 17 and 18 type R's, you gain a volume knob. And also steering wheel buttons work. And then we have a radio button and a maps button. So if I click this, this is what I was talking about with the GPS. You click this. Oh, I actually brought it up. So it's not going to load because actually it might because I'm on my Wi-Fi at home. But this is where the GPS signal, if you put the transponder or receiver on, this will automatically load. All right, so YouTube, like you got everything on here. You got shorts. This is literally the YouTube app. Got the shameless plug right here for the back road garage. So here's the channel. I'm running on my Wi-Fi right now. Like I said before, you can have the 4G connection wired up if you have a SIM card. So you could do this whenever and wherever. Skip ahead. What's going on YouTube? Tim, back again with another great video. Video's Today's doing pretty video, good, fellas. Talk about Come making on, 500 horsepower in a Civic Type R. Yeah. So we got that. Let's go here. You got YouTube, like I said, Netflix. Got the Google Play Store. So what I was saying before was if you guys are into tracking the car, you can download the Honda app. You have to buy it. It's 10 bucks. I have it on the iPhone, but this is obviously Android. You could download the Honda app, and I'm going to make a separate video on this. But it will literally have all your gauges on the screen, and you won't need to keep it up on your phone or like the janky stock head unit. I know you could do it, but it was just terrible. But yeah, so I'm going to make a separate video on that. But look, literally anything you want. You want to go on Facebook? And you could also do a um, hotspot from your phone and connect to this instead of doing the 4G. Uh, obviously, this has features like, let's see, settings. So you got Bluetooth. The settings are ridiculous. Literally so many different settings that you could play with uh brightness all that stuff all right so to conclude today's video if you guys have any questions about this head unit reach out i will be making excuse me i will be making a video on hondata the hondata app on here also we have a video coming up with me swapping the prl intercooler to a mitsu Nishimoto intercooler so that's going to be a good one with some pretty good data on the power level that we're currently at with uh, intake air temperatures and that's definitely a, a must see if you want to make good power thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one